Carmen is a well-known opera presenting a passionate Spanish love story. This opera was performed worldwide and is now featured in Israel, only that here it has been mounted at the bottom of this historical Masada site, creating a magical ambiance unique to this production alone. Masada is one of the most beautiful archaeological and historical places in Israel. And this place is so magical. You sit in front of the mountain with a canopy of stars above you and the moon above you and hundreds of people on stage. It's so beautiful. Why not? The whole atmosphere is completely different. You feel the opera before you, you started to listen to the opera. You already feel the whole thing before before getting into the opera. So that's why to build it here, to do such a mega production here. 2,500 people have been working on this massive cultural production, which has been in the works for six months now. Every night, there are more than 800 performers and technicians on and off stage, along with 10 live horses and seven donkeys used in the background in order to contribute to a 19th century setting of Spain. Carmen, this is a love story, full of passion, full of love, full of, uh, it's very total actually, they're all very, very extreme, all the operas are, but it's very, very extreme. There are so many people on stage and so many people behind the scene, it's a huge, huge thing, so it is, it is kind of exciting. It's like a Spanish village that they build here and inside you will see it's also uh, very, very unique, I think, because I don't know if there is other place in the world uh, that make a, a production in the desert, you know, and they built it actually from nothing, from scratch. There was nothing here. And when it's finished, they're going to also return it as the nature, uh, as it is. However, performing an opera in the middle of the desert has its own complications. The Italian mezzo-soprano meant to play Carmen was unable to carry through both acts of the premiere performance due to a sandstorm that took place during rehearsals, therefore allowing her Israeli mezzo-soprano understudy, Nama Goldman, to come in and fill the role on stage. The performers are very intrigued. It's not easy for them. The wind, the weather, the heat uh, is not very, you know, it's not normal conditions for singers, but they love it. They're so excited by it. Unbelievable. And they want to come back again and again. It's very hard dealing with the, with the climate and the weather and the sand and the dust and singing an opera in open air. Opera is not meant to be sang in open air, so it's, uh, it's different and it takes some time to uh, adjust and to get used to. And by now we are used to it, so it's okay. In total, six performances of this opera are presented in French to an audience of some 50,000 people, including about 3,500 who are international visitors in Israel. We started in 2010 with Nabucco, last year we did Aida, and this year we are doing Carmen, next year hopefully uh, we will do Turandot. Today when you click uh, Carmen at uh, Google, immediately you see Carmen at Masada. It's, it's amazing, I mean it's, it's the biggest event in opera today in the world. So uh, actually it brings a lot of advertising and knowledge and awareness to the area, to the environment and, and to, the, to this beautiful mountain. It's, I think, something amazing that's happening in the Dead Sea. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Masada, Israel.